This educational video is prepared in fulfillment of the requirements for EKC 378 Environmental Engineering and Management course. Pollutions are around the world and our environment is getting worse. So, we should protect our environment from now. But, what should we do? Um, let's find out. Presence to you journey towards sustainable environment, a role for chemical engineers by Group 1. Let's define sustainable environment first. It is a state in which the demands placed on the environment can be met without reducing its capacity for future generation. As a chemical engineer, there are lots of workable items towards promoting a sustainable environment. These include process intensification, green synthesis, alternative energy sources, reuse, reduce and recycle. Let's us focus and study on process intensification to see how it helps in contributing beneficially to our environment. Process intensification aims to achieve process miniaturization, energy efficiency and inherent safety, improved product quality and reduction in capital cost. To work on process intensification, we focus on the production of biodiesel from mist terrification and transest terrification process. Conventionally, biodiesel or fatty acid methyl S2 FAME, is produced from vegetable oil and alcohol in the presence of acidic or basic catalyst. However, vegetable oil and alcohol are in a biphasic system at the initial while the product and byproduct, fame and glycerol, are not soluble at the end of this reaction, hence high mass transfer resistance results in both cases. Also, the removal of catalyst and glycerol from the final desired product is required. To promote green synthesis on biodiesel, the use of enzymes as catalysts which have the advantage that strong acids and bases are not required can give a safe and non-corrosive synthesis. Sometimes, enzyme catalyst is used together with ionic liquids as solvent and additive. Pseudomonas capacea lipase supported in 1 butyl 3 methylamidozilium bistrifluoromethyl sulfon lamide ionic liquid for biodiesel synthesis from the transesterification reaction of soybean oil. It's suggested and it was observed that without the loss of catalytic activity and selectivity, the recovered ionic liquid and enzyme catalytic system can be recycled for at least 4 times. In addition, lower reaction temperature of about 50 degrees Celsius for rapid reaction is achieved in the screen synthesis of biodiesel. Thanks for watching. Wow! So, process intensification can also be applied in other productions in order to promote green synthesis? Yes, absolutely. We shall discover later.